How's it going, guys? So, um, can this record and just get off of work? Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to, this is going to be kind of like a mess around type of video. So we're just going to go mess around in uh, Tal Rush's tombs uh, because I actually haven't played any of this at, pretty much since I stopped. Um, yeah, I think it didn't change anything on anyone. Anyway. Uh, I gave him Eisenhart set, or at least what I can give him of Eisenhart's, and I gave him this. Um, that's about it. Uh, so what I'm planning to do is, like I said, this is going to be kind of like a bonus video, and then it'll start up to Act 3. Uh, the thing with Act 3 is, is that, like, I go explain from, from here on, from, from here on out with Act 3, I'm not going to bother making videos and me getting the organs, because there's just no point. Each one of those videos can take almost 20 minutes before you even find that organ, and it's just, just not worth it. And it's just, you don't want to extend a video up to seven or eight videos, just focusing on one quest, and it's kind of pointless. Um, plus you see me do it dozens of times as it is anyways and for the uh obs update uh i think i might have found out what the error was for some odd ball reason obs set my pause and my stop recording to my three and four number buttons and so that means every time i was healing with the number three or number four uh buttons for my potions it would pause my recording and then it would stop my recording and when I was messing around in OBS and checking to see what the hell's going on, you know, and before I even decided to even restart and download a new version of OBS, I looked and it says, uh, pause recording, stop recording, number three and number four, which is extremely odd because I did not set those for number three and number four. So I think OBS reverted back to default settings and put that to what it was originally set as for some oddball uh, game I might have had or something like that. So um, I ran the OBS for about like 10 minutes just to see if it would actually stop recordings or pause them or whatnot, and it didn't do any of that at all. So um, hopefully that actually fixes it when we get back to our, you know, videos. But uh, for now we're like level 26, so um, I figured we'd just go dick around and tell our students for a bonus video, and then we'll start at back three. Which means I'm gonna basically just gonna be grinding off screen until I get all the organs and we eventually get up to like um, travical. And then we'll uh, backtrack, grab the black book, and then go fight travical. That's gonna be an interesting fight. Because with Bob, he had at least had our AoE, you know, buffs and crap like that. The Paladin on the other hand, mm, a little different. So, if I sound out of breath, I do do apologize. <laughs> talk so fast I run out of breath it's just like gotta get all this information out before the video starts and I do have this in um, studio mode still just uh, for what it makes it easier to monitor my recordings and see how long it, the video actually is but in case it somehow magically starts to mess up again I at least have that option to you know, figure it out so you know, occasionally see me look in the corner, and that's where we're doing that. And um, for any uh, for big life updates, uh, if you haven't checked out my Twitter or something like that, uh, I am officially an owner of an Android phone. I know a lot of people crap on the Android. You know, they say it's like one of the worst phones you can get. But at the price that I got it for, I mean, it's a lot cheaper. So now I have officially one of my first cell phones since. Um, well, basically since flip phones. And, uh, for any of the younger generations who are, like, don't know what a flip phone is, basically it's a cell phone that was just that. You flipped it open and you can close it. It's literally fit in the palm of your hand. And that's before, like, um, iPhones and crap like that. That's back in, like, the early 2000s when people were using those. That was, like, the first cell phone I ever had. And ever since then, I never had a cell phone after that. So... But, uh, yeah, it's like there was a huge difference in price between an Android and, and an iPhone. And I'm like, hmm, I'm not paying that much for an iPhone. So it's like, no, 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 So now that I have that, I'm going to have to work on getting a wireless carrier. And, uh, since there's only really two companies that dominate my area, I'm going to the cheapest one I'm going to get paid. And, uh, Hopefully the vlog is not too loud. Uh, it's usually when you go into your recordings, your, your game volume will always be louder in your headset than it is your actual video, so... 
Uh, I don't think it should be though. And uh, we have officially hit 370 subs, so I'm gonna shake that up. Oh, don't need that too. And uh, yeah, so we hit 370 subs. I'm really happy about that. So thank you very much for the people who have been subbing and been sticking around. I know uh, some videos are really good videos, and some videos have their ups and downs. It just really depends on the day and how quickly I get that video, and you know uh, how quickly I make sure everything is all correct instead of just immediately jumping into a video. And uh, our last video we did was uh, Kingdom Planet of the Year. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. And uh, the next uh, trailer reaction we're going to be doing, which is going to be on Wednesday, uh, is going to be the uh, Ghostbusters. I think it's like Frozen Empire, whatever the hell it was called. Uh, I haven't yet to check that one out, but I've been seeing it like all over YouTube and stuff like that. So it'll be a little more delayed on that one, but I tend to just stick to a regular schedule. So if I'm doing you know, movie reactions on that day, then I'm doing movie reactions on that day. I usually don't pre-head pre-planned videos on that because I'm usually at work so I don't have time for it. Oh. Christian got six minutes, so I think I might have fixed the problem with the so and uh for any other news that you're not following me on my Twitter uh 20th through the 26th, which the 26th is, I always get those two confused with Christmas and Thanksgiving, their dates. Uh, the 26th is Thanksgiving, if you live in America, like I do. Uh, but 20th through the 26th, I will be having that entire week off from work. So I will basically be pretty much trying to put a video every single day on those days. Um, probably by that time we'll already have this playthrough or walkthrough already finished. So if that's the case... Uh, I might do some like game reviews, but I do have a few games in the back. But it's been such a long time since I've involved running them. Uh, I've only like ran them like once just to test them out to make sure they would even run on my computer. So. These are being persistent as shit. And. Uh, been pulling the pull, been uh, playing some Fallout 3 on my off time. Uh, really good game so far. I actually like it. I got like maybe 60 hours in that game. Um, I pretty much got like almost end gear stuff released. I think it's like uh, plasma rifles and crap like that, which I didn't even bother to go that way. Uh, Usually with any games like that, I usually go through, through the stealth way first, just to see how broken stealth is, is in the actual game, since I usually do that with like Skyrim, and stealth is completely broken in Skyrim. Uh, Fallout's a little more different. Uh, there are some new nitpicks about Fallout that I don't like, like stealth being one of them. Because uh, if you look at stealth comparisons to stealth to Skyrim, if you're in like completely in the open and you have like maxed out stealth, there really isn't, really isn't anybody or anything that's really going to spot you unless they're literally right up on you. But in Fallout, I have pretty much maxed out stealth and people still spot me from like half the distance that they should. Which kind of sucks. You know, I mean, it's only really good buildings, but even then, it's like, you peek around a corner and if they're literally looking in your direction, you know, they automatically know you're there. So that's kind of one of my gripes about stealth and fallout. So not exactly good. Uh, I have like stealth, I have well, it's called sneak. But I have sneak maxed out, I have lock picking maxed out, uh, getting speech maxed out, so basically anything that's gonna be like uh, like stealth wise. Um, getting my barter maxed out and uh, I went maxed out small guns. And I'm um, slowly getting some maxed out too. So, but uh, that and there's no actual transportation, because uh, there's fast travel. So once you should discover the location, you immediately just travel there. But unlike Skyrim, you know how you have a horse, you know, or any other game that you see some form of transportation, whether it be a horse, you know, some sort of vehicle. You know, uh, Fallout does not do that. So, like, if you really want to actually discover that area, you're walking. Which kind of sucks. Yeah. 
I don't know if they changed that in Fallout Vegas because that, that's the one that everyone brags about. The, even when Fallout 4 came out, everyone still says that Vegas is still the best. Um, but I will eventually get that one to actually beat Fallout 3. Uh, we pretty much, uh, story wise, we pretty much discovered, found our father, and that the Enclave pretty much took over and he ended up killing him. So we're around within that, we're in within that area. I don't know how far that actually is in the game. But that's where we were actually at. So we pretty much unlocked the Enclave, and they've been a pain in my ass because they've been taking over areas that I've already discovered. Putting up their little satellites and crap. So we discovered them, we discovered the Brotherhood of Steel, and there's one other Brotherhood we haven't uh, we discovered. I don't know what the hell they're called, but they're in like some sort of fortress. They were talking about uh, wanting technology for themselves, and that they're kind of like an off brand of the Brotherhood of Steel. So, and we're going to the going the good ending as best as possible, and then once I do it again, we'll go with bad endings. And we did save Meg, uh, Mega Town too, so I didn't blow up the bomb. But yeah, I think it's like my really going to grudge. The fall of three. Everything else, I mean, it's actually a pretty fun game. And the last time I played a fellow game was back when the first game out, which was like 2006, 2008 when the Oblivion came out. And I haven't played Fallout ever since then. Well, we might just get through one power rush or something. It's more in, like I said, more like a, a side bonus video. Kind of like when you're doing, like, taking a break from the main quest and decide to dick around and, you know, see what's around in the world of your game. So, uh, since we are playing players, so when we were playing players, one, we'd easily just destroy these guys. But, that's gonna give you just, like, some life updates, because I know some of you guys don't have, like, Twitter and stuff like that, too, so, try to update you guys as best as possible. Two potions! Well, give me that mana and let me eat one. Hmm. Listen, that one I thought it was. We also have a big storm coming in too, so um, like I said, I'll, with big storms in my area, I will try to get some videos out for you guys if I can. But depends on the storm, whether it's rain and wind, then you know it should be okay. But if it's snow, we're having an interesting day. Which apparently we're supposed to get snow sometime within the next couple of weeks, which I really hope not, because <laughs> after the last damn snowstorm. Six feet of snow, two weeks with no power, four power lines down, and one of them actually landed on someone's house. Excuse me, power pole landed on someone's house. And, you know, uh, the last thing I want to do is go to the Plus, I ended up spraining my wrist twice in that last snowstorm. Just show the people's houses out. So I guess we got some here much. So, like, I do not feel like I'm going to go through that again. That fear is coming in pretty handy. Uh, that's a, a really good thing with um, if you can get fear on your mercenary, or not fear, uh, flee on your mercenary, it becomes like as an attribute. Uh, that's actually really good because if you're getting mobbed up like my paladin is here, you know, you can get your mercenary, if you can knock off like three or four enemies, get them away from you, that will give you a chance to either run away and try to heal up or, you know, help you out with some of that crowd control. And the same thing with uh, when you're going through like Act Two, particularly Act Two, uh, because they have the uh, they have the urns and some of that. Do not destroy the urns until all the enemies are actually dead, because they also act as a crowd control buffer. Because the enemies actually have to go around them, 
and if you're getting mobbed up by like 20 something enemies and you got like at least a line a certain you know design of the urns uh, it funnels them into certain one or two different areas so it actually helps you uh, deal with them especially when you're dealing with like unravelers and like burning undead and crap like that where they'll mob up only like 15 20 enemies at once <laughs> you know he's a bad listener. And speaking of metal, I've been watching it so many times. I've been watching that Tropic Thunder. God, that movie's hilarious. You have hands? <laughs> oh, God. And it's like. The, the two things, if you've never seen Tropic, Tropic Thunder, I highly recommend you actually watch it because it's got uh, it's got um, Robert Downey Jr. in it, it's got uh, Ben Stiller, uh, who the hell is the other one? Uh, Jack Black, uh, there's two other actors, it has uh, Tom Cruise in it, and it's a hilarious, hilarious movie because it's a, basically like a um, funny movie about the Vietnam War, but uh, it's someone making fun of it in a sense about these actors who are actually pretending to actually be in the be in the war but they've been so pampered through their entire lives they actually stick them in the actual part of Vietnam without their assistance and stuff like that and then watch them try to survive as they're trying to make a movie the movie's a riot and uh, I don't want to say too, too many spoilers about it if you haven't seen it but uh, Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Cruise do not look like what they look like. And uh, Matthew McConaughey is in it too. But it's definitely Jenna Denny. Don't worry, but I've been watching that and uh, recently started watching them. Uh, Would you stop running away, you little shit? Uh, Toy Story 1. God. That's when Disney was actually good. <laughs> Nowadays, Disney's just like, uh, you don't want to touch Disney with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> my Toy Story 1 will like always be my favorite Disney movie. Ooh, we got a grand charm here. Especially with, like the commentary between Buzz and Woody and something like that. Right. You are a toy. <laughs> you are a child's plaything. <laughs> you are one sad, strange little man. <laughs> I bid you farewell. <laughs> uh, or when he goes and lands on the bed, I don't see a sign of a television life anywhere. <laughs> he just pops up, hello. <laughs> it's like, that's the people of today. <laughs> like four or five Toy Story movies there. Number one one is the best. I know people people love Toy Story 2. I'm like, it's, it's not bad. You know, but number one one is my favorite. And I know they have the, uh, the Buzz Lightyear movie too, which I haven't seen, so... Uh, I pretty much fall off of the whole Disney, Disney movie trend, because... Uh, this is Disney took over Marvel and crap like that, and just like... I just don't have any interest in it, since they're family friendly, which is a car show. Mm, we're going strong at 18 and a half minutes. So, uh, let's clear this tomb out, and then, um... Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, the, hopefully it actually fixed the problem, so... Uh, the one other thing, too, is that... I'm not gonna die here. Um... The Paladin has access to thorns. Never use thorns. Uh, Blizzard pretty much uh, debuff thorns in this game so much. I mean, it's completely pointless. Uh, years and years ago, when Blizzard was actually still good and Diablo was still well, still alive, uh, people used to use thorns for PvP and stuff like that because it would deflect double the damage back at your enemy. So if you were hitting an enemy for like 100 damage, it would do 200 damage back to the people. And we're gonna end the video here because it's like 15 minutes. Uh, back in the day, it was actually really good, but thorns pretty much sucked ass in PVE.
you know, it was just not good. It may have helped out like a little bit, but not to the point where you would make a full on thorns build, you know. For paladins, you, the best ones you want to go is for ordens. Uh, ordens will save you a lot for CC. You know, if you want to hit like a Mack truck, you know, go with the Hammerden. Especially if you're taking on like single targets like Diablo, Mephisto, or Bale, because hammers will mess them up. Uh, a full Orden build can actually tear up, you know, uh, Throne of Destruction or Chaos Sanctuary, but Ordens are extremely expensive, you know, and you have to get something like, um, it's not Delirium, it's, oh god, I can't think of the name of it, it's a rune where it gives you Holy Shock, and then there's the Dragon Shield, Dragon Rune Word, which gives you, like, Holy Fire, and I think it's, like, Conviction or some crap like that, but you would stack that up and, it, uh, and uh, run something like um, Conviction. So you would run Conviction as your main aura, and then use something like Dragon, which would give you Holy Fire on top of your Holy Shock, and you would just annihilate things on Layer 7. But uh, Ordens are just too damn uh, too damn expensive, especially if you don't have the high runes for it, so... But they are one of the strongest builds you can actually make for either PvP or PvE. PvE. Because even if, even if PvP on some of the full build, they step out, Either two things are going to happen. Either they're going to take like a quarter of your life off. Or if your resistances are not that good, they'll one-shot you. <laughs> and I've seen it too. I've seen it happen. I've seen full-on, you know, like five, 6,000 health barbarians, you know, maxed out gear, go against the Ord, and they just step out, and it's just like, wham, they're dead in one hit. <laughs> you see people just type into their chat, like, what the hell's going on? Uh, they're definitely a fun build. But this is over 20 minutes, so I know how long that crap's going to take. So, uh, hopefully that fixed it, and um, I'll check out the video once we're done. So, get safe, safe health and sanitize. Thank you for three, uh, 370 uh, subscriber subs. We're still trying to reach that goal for 500, and um, that's about it. So, stay safe, health and sanitize, and I'll see you guys around. See you guys.